Hello, everyone. Welcome to AWS Mainframe Modernization Service Data Replication Using Precisely. This is a demonstration of DB2 to Amazon Aurora Postgres database. We will use AWS developed card demo mainframe applications data from DB2 to stream in real time Aurora Postgres database. The precisely data streaming setup already configured on mainframe. What you see here highlighted is a started task for controller daemon which is used to authenticate and manage secure communication between publisher and apply agent. The second started task that is highlighted is the publisher agent which is responsible for reading the DB2 logs and capture the records based on filters specified in configuration record. This is the ISPF panel which comes along with Precisely software. It is used to perform administrative activities like start, stop, and manage streaming from mainframe. Now let's type 3 and view publisher's info. Here is a summary of CAB files. Let's select the one that is called db2msk.cab. This will take us to following screen which has details of the cab file like status db2 subsystem details about last commit point, etc. Let's look at sources. The highlighted table is the one from where the data is being streamed in real time. This completes the setup on mainframe. Now let's configure the apply agent on AWS. We have launched an EC2 instance using the Precisely AMI. Let's connect to the instance using the instance endpoint. All the activities on the instance are performed using the connect user. The AWS mainframe modernization service documentation for data replication using Precisely explains how to configure the connect user when the instance is launched. Now let's look at the apply engine script that I have configured and placed in script library. db2msk.sqd is the file where the script is present. The script file contains configurations which is used by apply engine in real time here. Here highlighted pgdsn is the file where the postgres Connection details like host endpoint, database credentials are provided. We use VPC endpoint to connect to mainframe and the source data store provide the path to mainframe port, publisher engine and publisher job name. We have a very simple one-to-one -one mapping here between source and target schema. This is the section where you would provide any additional filtering before applying the changes to target data store. Before we start the apply engine, let's check the source and target data stores. I have created the Amazon Aurora Postgres table and preloaded the data to match with source DB2. What we see here is a Python code snippet to extract data from Postgres table. I have packaged this as lambda function. Let's run this lambda function. The query has returned following records from table. This is side-by-side -side comparison of data in mainframe and Postgres. Now let's start the apply engine to test the real-time streaming. The engine has successfully started. Let's check the status of the publisher. Publisher is also mounted and running. I will make changes to the mainframe data using six screens. I will perform one insert using CTTU screen to add record 07 with description as adjustment E is successfully added to the table. Let's run the lambda to fetch records from Postgres. Here we will observe that the record has been inserted in Postgres DB real time. 
Now let's test the update feature using the CT screen. Let's modify the description for record 05 from refunds to purchase refunds. The record is successfully updated in DB2. Let's check if this is reflected in Postgres. Now, by executing the Lambda function to fetch records. Here we observe the record has been updated in Postgres database in real time. The data is now successfully being replicated in real time from mainframe to AWS. This concludes the demo of AWS Mainframe Modernization Service Data Replication with Precisely. Thank you.